Well, hello, French and Spanish two students. This is Senior Paper along with Assistant Principal Mrs. Summers, and we'd like to talk with you today about the opportunity to take Spanish three or French three as dual credit next year. Uh, most of you watching this video today will probably take French three or Spanish three next year. We want to let you know that you may, you may also be able to take uh, that course as dual credit. Mrs. Summers oversees Homestead's dual credit program. It's going to answer some questions for us today that you and your parents might have about how to sign up for dual credit. We'll talk about what dual credit is, uh, how you can sign up for French three or Spanish three dual credit, uh, how those courses may transfer, and a few other things. Uh, Mrs. Summers, some of our viewers today may be freshmen, and their parents uh, and their freshman students may not be familiar with dual credit. Can you tell us what it means to take a class as dual credit? A dual credit class has the word dual because it's basically a two-for-one class. You will earn the credit that you need for your high school diploma. It'll be high school transcripted credits. But on top of that, you get college credit for the same work and the same course. Okay. Well, when students arrive in French 3 or Spanish 3 next year, uh, do they have to take the course as dual credit? You do not. When you are sitting in your next Spanish or French classroom, there will be some students who select to take the dual credit and earn college credit at the same time, while others will not you both will do the same work. So I strongly you encourage you to consider taking it for the college credit too. There'll be no difference in what you do, but the results will be very different. You'll have that college credit. Yeah, and you mentioned this a second ago, but is there any more work that students have to do in dual credit uh, as opposed to not taking the course for dual credit? Great question, no. You'll take the exact same tests, you'll have the exact same assessments, you'll have the same homework, all of the requirements are exactly the same. So taking the course for the college credit is a great idea. Well, many of the students watching this today may be freshmen or sophomores. We also have some juniors who may be watching it as well. Can you tell us what freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will have to do next year to take the course as dual credit in French 3 or Spanish 3? That's a great question. We have many different dual credit partners, colleges and universities, that work with us to help give you the college credit. For the world language classes, our college partner is Ivy Tech. In order to qualify for their dual credit courses, you have to have certain cut scores on tests that you've taken. An example of a test that you may have taken is the PSAT. You may have also taken the SAT or the ACT exam. If you meet those qualifying scores, you can be accepted into the dual credit world language program. If you haven't had a chance to take the PSAT, we offer a free dual credit entrance exam after school during the months of August, September, and October every year. Okay. What if a student decides to take the class as a dual credit, but later changes his mind or her, her mind? Can students uh, change that decision at a later time once the course has already begun? They sure can. When you go into a college course, the college always sets a date that's called a drop date. And if the course is not working out for you, you don't feel like you're getting the grades that you want to get, then you can drop that course. We're very fortunate at Homestead that the world language drop date is quite late. So give it a try, and if it's not working out for you, you just need to let your teacher know that you've decided against taking the course for college credit. Do students need to maintain a certain grade in the world language classroom to, to stay in dual credit? They do. If you earn a grade of C- minus or higher, you will receive the college credit for the course. If you get a D or a D- minus or a D+, plus, you would still get high school credit, but you just wouldn't get college credit for the class. And how many credits can a student earn through Ivy Tech by taking Spanish 3 or French 3? Believe it or not, you can earn eight college credits for taking just that course. So you earn four credits from the first semester and four credits from the second semester. And that is completely tuition free. Students often ask if these credits will transfer to Indiana University, Purdue University, Ball State, or other states, or other schools across the state or, or the country. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how credits transfer? Sure can. Many of our classes at Homestead are on what's called the Core Transfer Library. In 2012, the state passed a law that there were certain college classes that could be offered at high schools that every public college and university in the state of Indiana was required by law to take for credit. So the Spanish and the French dual credit classes will transfer to every public institution. Now, private schools and schools outside the state of Indiana have the option on whether or not to take the classes. 
for credit. But I will tell you, many Spartans have traveled outside the boundaries of Indiana or have chosen to go to, to private schools, and those schools have taken those credits. And the grades that students earn in Spanish 3 or French 3 dual credit, do those grades show up on their college transcripts? They do not. If you earn a grade of C minus or higher, the college that you're going to will put on the transcript that you have earned eight transferable credits. However, they will not know what your letter grade is, whether it's an A, a B, or a C. Only the credits will be on the transcript. If you're curious about the transferability of the credits, pick up the phone and call the colleges that you're considering going to, and they can give you more information. Okay. Well, thank you, Mrs. Summers, for talking us through uh, the dual credit process. And just to recap, uh, at the moment, the only thing students need to do to sign up for dual credit next year is to, when they schedule classes, indicate with their counselor that they want to take the course as dual credit. And once the next school year begins, their teacher will give them more information about how to sign up, and there'll be more information in Canvas for them. Exactly. In fact, if you want to look now, if you go to your class of 2021 or 2020, you will find a module about these courses, and it'll give you information about how to sign up. Okay. Well, thanks again, Mrs. Summers. And students, parents, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Mrs. Summers, to contact me, to contact your student's guidance counselor, uh, to contact your student's teacher, and we'd be glad to help with anything we can about dual credit. Thanks again. Thank you.